All right, I'm over here working on Parker's plot. As you can see, it's dry up here. We're supposed to get rain, but this plot is the soil is awful. Um, it's so sandy. It's it's awful. I made the mistake of tilling it for quite a few years, and I'm trying to get the soil back. I don't till it anymore. And I'm finally, as you can see, I'm finally getting some stuff to actually stick around. You know, you got some, you know, you got some roots, but it's gonna, that side of the plot looks better than down there, but this section here is awful. So, um, I'm coming in now with some buckwheat, some rye, some oats, some hairy vetch, and then um, I'll come in here, I have some crimson clover, but uh, I don't like adding the crimson clover into the big seed because it, it, I just don't trust that it's gonna be spread correctly. So I'll come back in here with my hand spreader and do that. Um, I have my new setup with my roller that I'm trying to use to see if that does any better with germination um, instead of cultipacking. Um, we'll see how rolling works with no-till. My cultipacker worked great when I tilled, but I just don't think it does a good job no-tilling. We'll see what it does. So. Sunday morning and um, I spent all day yesterday planting and I just kind of wanted to for my records I'm gonna show you three different plots that were planted the same way last fall and um, how they react different with just the, the, the seeds just react different you have um, this is the worst it has um, the pH, I've got the pH over the years up in this plot, it's probably at 6.8. But the um, organic matter is at like 1.7. Um, it's getting better, I'm actually getting stuff to grow in it now. As you can see I laid the rye down and I added more seed diversity to it yesterday. And with this rain we're getting it should germinate. But it's just going to be a process of just keep adding more and more to it and just keep the diversity, keep the soil protected. Um, as you can see, I'm actually getting what I want right here. I want the roots to get into the top layer of the soil and it's happening. It's taken a while, but uh, it's, it's starting to happen. But. I'm going to take you, I'm going to turn the camera off and take you to my other two better plots. This is my worst plot. This is my destination plot. Um, again, with all the lime that I've put in this plot over the last five years or so I've got the pH up to probably six nine that's the last soil test um, the organic matter in this one is still in the twos um, the last plot was in the ones and this one's at the last check was at 2.7 so uh, I just keep adding more rye more diversity clover um, as you can see I sprayed it um, a few weeks ago and then I um, seeded today, yesterday, and I rolled it, and I knocked down all the rye. But this plot, as you can see, 
it's a lot better. You can see it, it's actually holding on. The roots are grabbing onto the top layer. It's less sandy. Um, and that's with all the dry conditions that we had. So this plot is definitely better than the last one. I'm happy with it, but I got to keep adding more diversity to it. Um, looks good. I like the fact that all that grass died on me that I sprayed and um, I can, I planted in, I got all this exposed soil now that my seeds that I put in the ground yesterday should have a spot to go. Crimson clover, oats, rye, uh, hairy vetch, buckwheat. It was all planted in here just to fill in the spots and then I'll deal with that come August, September. Well, here's my back hourglass plot. This is my best plot. Um, and it's no surprise because this plot was only tilled one time when it was created by the loggers um, to just smooth it out and, um, and that was it. It was never tilled. It was never bulldozed. The loggers didn't bulldoze it. This was planted the same way the other ones were. The same seed rate last fall to create a clover plot. And as you can see, this one actually is doing good. The clover looks fantastic. Um, I, I rolled the rye. I did add some the same seed mixture to fill in the holes in any spots that um, there was soil exposed just to keep the diversity going in it and I'll deal with it in the fall. But uh, this, this plot's fantastic. This has a uh, pH of seven. Um, I think it, I think it's seven, it was seven, seven point, seven point oh or 6.9 last soil test. It, but this one has an organic matter in the threes. This one's 3.5 last soil test. You can just, it's just, it cools on. Man. You can just see all the roots. They're just, the top layer is, looks great. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it's just all the little things holding the roots, holding on the soil. And this has been dry. This is the first rain and look at that. I mean, it's held together. But yeah, no-till and um, get that organic matter up with diversity, you know, just keep planting. That's what I, you know, that's what I'm learning and that's what I'm going to keep doing. But as you can see, same property. This is my 80 acres, three different plots, and they're all acting different. That's why the soil samples are important. But uh, good luck.